he was an army guy. He couldn't find where he was. So eventually, they went and checked out the Arab section, and uh, the guy says, who are you looking for? We got a man missing. So they showed it to him. They took him over, and they, they killed the guy. They uh, cut his valve and his dicky off, and they stuffed it in his mouth. Here's your man. Wow. That's what they did. In other words, they don't bother going to court. There's no such thing as court. Like the other night. See, there's a lot of things going on during the war that I didn't think that they did. The Japanese went at the Bat uh, Batan, they you know that where they had the Batan War, uh, yeah. the march there, or oh, they had a colony of English people over there, and they took all the women prisoners, and they killed all the guys. And now they brought all these women into a, a camp for the keep them all. So the girls were falling sick. So this Chinese woman, she made friends with some of the native who live in Bataan to bring some medicine to uh, take care of the woman. So then, I don't know if they found out, but they saw something was going on on the outside of the fence. So they went out and they captured two guys. Guys that was after this Chinese woman, and then when they went into the compound, the next morning they went and they laid, lined them all up, and they said, "You, like they say, show the Chinese woman." They took her, they tied her up, make her kneel down, and the Japanese guy came over and he sprayed her with gasoline. Then he sent her on fire, he burned her alive. And then I saw another picture of the German. It was the Polish people, they had taken as prisoners. They, they took them and they brought them into this place. And they thought they were going to have a nice bath because they made a while they didn't wash up. So they brought him to this big area where it was all shower head. So they told him, undress, get ready. So when they put on the shower head, instead of water coming out, it was gas. They killed all the women and the children, and then they buried them in a big hole like this here. The Germans done that to the Polish people. And the Japan, uh, Japan done the same thing. Like uh, during the first World War, the, the uh, German torpedoed some passenger ship off the coast of uh, England. We didn't know that, but it's all coming out in the in the Valley Breeze and the. Uh, not the Valley Blaze, the VFW book there. All those stories are coming up. That's why now <clears throat> the stupid American they went and let the Japanese build some factories to make their cars over here. That was the most stupid thing they could have done. Now General Motors is going down the hole because and uh, those cars are no better than the, what the we're making. I think we make it better stuff. But the people, especially the uh, foreigners, are buying all those cars. It's a shame. I never, if I had to walk, I never buy a car. Not from the Japanese. I might buy a. A Volvo, something like that. Those are nice cars. They're expensive, but they they don't make a 
25, 30 cars a day, they might make a half a dozen or a dozen. It's all hand put together. There's no robot welding anything together. I went to Sweden and I I think they have a nice way of living over there in Sweden. When I went on to a cruise, we spent three days in Sweden visiting all over the place. Maybe uh, <clears throat> maybe we'll get rid of these houses and we'll move somewhere. Huh? Move somewhere else. This ain't America. This used to be America. It ain't now. Well, the whole situation is it's the land. See what it is. Now this house here, it's empty on the second floor. Well, this house here, years ago when I first started living over here. It used to be a butcher shop. It was a meat store over here on the first floor instead of an apartment. And afterward, it became uh, a bar room. The, the girls and the boys. Yeah, the were, guys that messed up this wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they had the, uh, a water lunch. <laughs> so anyway, after a while, the guy got tired of having the bar there. He told him, he says, I'm putting a padlock on this and you can move all your junk out. Then this guy bought it and it's been people on welfare ever since. See, the trouble, I don't know if it's just with Saki that's going to pay or the government, but they all have that uh, Section 8 or whatever they have there, yeah. and it's no goddamn good. <laughs> My son, he had one one woman that was on Section 8, so they came and investigate. He had to paint the wall in the hallway, put some switch up and down. My son says, doesn't have nothing to do with the apartment, but he says that's a war. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy over here. It's just crazy over here. Huh? I said, it's a crazy place, you know? 